welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today I am reorganizing my bookshelves. These are the center of my living room. They are the highlight of the show and I have some books to put on the shelves into new categories but I'm running out of room. Let me explain. If you saw my October reading wrap up, these are the books that I read in October and they don't quite fit on the shelves right now. I organize by genre and category. We're running out of room, especially in the romance section up top. So it is about time that I switch some things up, move some things around, and I thought it would be fun to bring y'all along with me. So this is going to be a book reorganization video, and then at the end I will give you an updated bookshelf tour and yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. I want to go ahead and give you guys a brief overview of how this is currently organized. So up top we have Romance, then we have Colleen Hoover Stack, YA, more YA, Harry Potter. We have Manga and Graphic Novels, Adult Lit, Nonfic is down there. Then we move over here, we have Thrillers up top. We have dystopian here, horror here. And as you can see this part, I just hate the way this shelf looks to be honest with you. It's just crammed and weird. And I have this little thing of crystals holding up the books. It's just not, it's not it. Then we have the books I read in October and random stuff here. And then we have books that I'm planning on reading in November, more random little knickknacks and my physical TBR outside of what I'm reading in November. Those are the only books on my shelf that I have not read. That is how we're currently looking. So my plan is to just start shuffling things around and kind of figure it out as I go. I do also have some books that are headed my way. They will be here next week, specifically the new edition of Fourth Wing, the holiday edition and um, Iron Flame. Those are coming next week. So I need to Think about that as well where those are gonna go i'm thinking of maybe making like a whole fantasy shelf we'll see as we go along but i'm gonna take you guys with me and just record as i go so we'll see what happens i also just want to point out that i'm wearing some sweats some mismatched sweats the pants are from a creator that i no longer support i only wear these in the house or like to take my dogs on a really quick potty trip. So if you recognize the sweatpants, just ignore it. <laughs> they're really old, but they're really comfortable. Um, and if you don't recognize the sweatpants, good, because I don't support the creator anyway. So let's get going. We still have romance and I was able to make a section for the Twisted series. 
I also put this crystal on there because Stella in Twisted Lies likes crystals and that's a rose court which is representative of love so I thought it was fitting. Also my house is spooky year round so that's staying there. Don't ask questions. Then I still have the Hoover stack and we go from romance into adult lit and Happy Place is kind of the transition book which I think is fitting because I find Happy Place more of a adult lit. A lot of people consider it romance, so it's kind of somewhere in the middle, and it helps transition this shelf. I also have some classics over here. Down here is where things get a little weird, because I have some fantasy books that will be going here. I have Fourth Wing that'll definitely be facing out, and Iron Flame, and just several other things that are going to happen over here. So for now, we just have a Candy Corn. We have Amari and the Night Brothers, which is a fantastic middle grade it is a basically better version of harry potter in my opinion and then we have a miniature this is from row life i've shown it before and harry potter and for anyone asking those were bought used and they were a gift so no money went to supporting she who should not be named then from there we go down to our manga slash graphic novels this mostly stayed the same but now i have this little book peeking out which is fitting because me and my husband both love the series and we joke that the characters kind of look like us so i thought that was a cute little thing to have facing out then from here we continue with a little bit of graphic novel into ya and this also transitions really well because Heartstopper is a graphic novel, but then these are her more like YA books rather than being graphic novels. And then the rest of these go into YA and down here. So it kind of works well. I have another miniature here as well. And then going down here, we have more YA and then nonfic. I was going to move this section, but I ended up just keeping it here. And I think it works well. We have the cup to kind of separate it. There's also some bookmarks in the cup, but to be honest, I never use these. I always use Pokemon cards. From there, we come over to here, and this top section stayed relatively the same. This is thrillers. Then going down from there, we have horror, and now horror is its own shelf entirely. So I definitely have room to expand. That book can kind of go anywhere. And in general, this whole shelf has a lot of room to expand, but this one is no exception. Speaking of room to expand, we have a whole section for dystopian novels. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it this way long term. Probably not. That's a nice thing about all of these bookshelves is that they can be changed around a lot. Clearly there's a lot of room, <laughs> like extra room where I didn't know where to put stuff. So I just put those things there. But uh, this is the best we could do for dystopian, at least for now. Down here we have my physical TBR, and as my physical TBR has shrunk, so has this shelf. We have books that I'm reading in November, and then books that I'm going to read eventually. There's no specific date for those, but these are the only books left on my shelves that I have not read, so that is very exciting. I probably need to do a book haul soon <laughs> to fill up some of this blank space. And then down here, what we did down here is basically just combined the craft section and the game boards. And I like this a lot better. Before, I had the craft section spilling in over there, and it just looked a little disjointed. So I like having these two shelves dedicated to just things other than books. So this little area here is crafts, and then this is game boards and other like card games and things like that. I also just want to add that the TV stand is definitely a problem area that I'm working on. We recently got rid of the old Xbox and upgraded to a PS5. So there used to be consoles and things here. Now I'm not sure what to do with that area. So if you guys have any ideas, definitely let me know. I definitely need to do something with that because it's a part of the whole look, you know? All right, so that concludes reorganizing my bookshelves. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, you'll probably like my other content, so you should stick around. We are a judgment-free zone, so if that sounds appealing to you, we'd love to have you. And until next time, bye!